It's finally draft week, and it's also peak BS season. So take all reports uh, from all the medias, for all the insiders, uh, with a truckload of salt this week. And also remember, que bono, who benefits? But Tom Pelissero, NFL Network, is as dialed in as anyone in the industry, especially with his home team, the Minnesota Fighting Vikings. And he's reporting that GM Pretty Ricky Spielman and the Vikings are exploring a move up into the top 10 of the draft. Pelissero said this on Good Morning Football, quote, the Vikings have been active working the phones. That would probably be if one of those offensive tackles end up sliding. End quote. Palacero mentioned the two teams linked to trading down the most inside the top 10 would be the Panthers at 8 and the Broncos at 9. Hello, old friend George Payton. Now, with everything during BS season, try to reverse engineer it and try to think of the source of the leaks. Is it the Vikings? Uh, probably not. Like, how would the Vikings benefit by showing their hand? And the Vikings have been Fort Knox. Like, nothing leaks without a specific reason and agenda attached to it. Spielman's very good at that. Uh, is it other teams looking to trade down, saying, hey, these teams are in. Do you want to be in? It's going to cost you to potentially increase the value of the trade down. Yes, that does make sense. Bingo. But that's why... I kind of believe this report. I don't think that they would just flat out lie to Pelissero that, hey, the Vikings are calling when they weren't. But if they have called and inquired, make that be known. Try to fluff up the value a little bit. I think that does make sense. I think the only way the Vikings do move up is if Penny Sewell falls out of the top seven. I don't think they make a move for a quarterback this year, but Penny Sewell makes a lot of sense. And I think that if he's off the board, you don't necessarily have to move up to eight or nine to get a Derrissaw or Rashawn Slater. I think you could have them in the teens, but this could happen. Absent trades, say quarterback goes one through four, and then some combination of Pitts, Chase, Parsons, Devontae, Waddle, or whoever goes in the top seven. If Penny gets the eight, the Vikings should be on the horn with Scott Fritter and the Panthers at, at, immediately. Absolutely immediately. But the cost is going to be steep. Moving up six spots, 14 to eight, that's a big time jump. And absent the Vikings having a second round pick this year, they may have to give up a future first rounder or say a future second round pick and a 2021 third, fourth, fifth to try and square that value. It's a steep price, but a penny Sewell is a number one lineman on your board. Do you want him or not? Like you're trying to address the big time position of need and you have the best player in the draft to do it. Do it. Or say Sewell is off the board and Darisaw and Slater are there at nine. George Payton, what up? Because offensive line could go every pick in front of the Vikings from nine on in. Dallas at 10 certainly could go offensive line. The Giants have problems. Eagles are a mess all over the place. The Chargers certainly could use a blindside protector for Justin Herbert, who is not the offensive rookie of the year. So it all comes down to is 2021 Super Bowl or bust or not. You have all these veterans on one-year short-term deals, and you have a chance to secure a tier one operator on the offensive line. Line, which is your major position of need right now, and it will give the offense a fighting chance. Do it. Do it. Get it done. You have 10 friggin' picks, and if you're not so concerned about the future, eh, you can borrow just a little bit. You can mortgage the future just a little bit and make sure that you have your cake and eating it too in 2021. Bunch of cake eaters. Yeah, yeah, just do it. It's fun, man. Long, fun, busy week coming up. Hell, maybe Penny Sewell will fall. Maybe the one, one of the quarterbacks will fall. I don't know. It's going to get nuts, man. Let's go. Let's go. But your thoughts, Vikings potentially trading up into the top 10? Let us uh, know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.